Well, I definitely would agree with the umbrella portion of all of that as a meteorologist. I mean, I, I, it's a highly anticipated moment within the Super Bowl. You have to watch the halftime show. You have to watch all the commercials and then you have to somehow magically get all the snacks. So if you have to get out and maybe head somewhere for the Super Bowl, you're uh, headed to someone else's house to spectate. You're going to have no travel concerns when it comes to maybe adding weather elements to it. This morning we are in the 20s widespread across Northeast Ohio. So just know it does feel very February like you'll still need the winter accessories. You saw Kiara just live outside all bundled up. I would follow her lead on this one, folks. Across the region, though, maybe you're traveling to Indiana. Maybe you're headed over to Pennsylvania. You can still make it to Chicago at this time frame. It's about a five and a half hour drive. I know from experience, my parents live there. I'm sure that they'll be watching the Super Bowl too. They're around freezing right now. You can make it almost anywhere across our immediate uh, few states until you head a little bit farther south without encountering any wet weather. There's a whole lot of it to be found from parts of the deep south all the way through the mid Atlantic. This is going to drift a little bit farther to the north, but as it moves to the north, it's also going to move to the east. So that'll push the rain offshore, at least the bulk of it. Off of this system, though, I think we could toss up a few high clouds, but high pressure is going to want to also invade Northeast Ohio. So it's going to sit really right on top of us. And what this is going to eventually do, it limits the cloud cover. So if we do get any off of this system, I think it would be through our southernmost counties as it tries to sneak through part of the southern state right now. Other than that, if you're headed out today, maybe you have plans to do some outdoor exercise before you hang out indoors and you eat all the snacks and you sit on the couch like myself. Uh, you can get out without any huge concerns when it comes to maybe uh, that that walk with the dog this morning. Maybe you're trying to get the kids up and moving. It's a great day to do so because check out where our high temperature is going to be just shy of 50 degrees, a mostly sunny skies, a beautiful February day, and we do it again tomorrow on your national assignment on the hour forecast. We start the day in the 30s. We'll be in the 40s, but we come closer to 50 degrees tomorrow. I think a few extra clouds in the mix, maybe around the middle part of the afternoon we see more full on sunshine so recess tomorrow for the kiddos the grandkids will be easy as uh, can be really and same for you you'll also need once again the sunglasses my big push to you to find them for the drive home tomorrow is going to be a hard one after you know you might be staying up a little later today if you're calling in sick I won't tell anyone come tomorrow but it's also going to be a great day to maybe call in sick who knows we're still going to be in the 50s though for Tuesday for Valentine's Day and if you don't like the 50s I have 60s for you and if you don't like that we're back in the 30s by Friday as well Oh, all right, a little something for everyone, Pate. It's just a little. It's what I do. Oh. My gift for you for Valentine's Day. Thank you, Pate, and very of kind. Of course.